Hello, welcome back. So uh, I found yet another feature previously only available in uh, Pro Tools Ultimate, now available in Pro Tools Studio since the 2022.4 release, the April of 2022 release. Bunch of new things that were added to Pro Tools, formerly called Pro Tools, Pro Tools Studio, which um, are, are very cool things. And um, here's yet another one. I didn't see anything in the documentation about this. Hopefully it wasn't a mistake that Avid uh, will realize and, and remove, but um, here it is. So track groups, of course, you've been able to use um, track groups in Pro Tools and Pro Tools Ultimate for a long time, but the Pro Tools Ultimate version of track groups had some advanced features and uh, they now exist in Pro Tools Studio. So here we go. I'm gonna show you some, some cool things here. So I'm going to make Make a group out of these vocal tracks and I'm going to click on the first one and shift click on the last one so that all of them are selected and I'll go to track menu and choose group and we'll name this vocal group or just vocal whatever it includes all six of these tracks now in this window if you've been using Pro Tools prior to this April 2022 release you uh, may see some things here that did not exist before right so attributes right I have a, the opportunity to group many other things other than just the the, uh, the editing and the um, the volume faders so I'm going to uncheck follow globals <clears throat> which is going to enable this attributes window and from here I have the opportunity to enable a bunch of different things so volume that will group the volume faders we want that typically this will also allow me to uh, enable record enable solos uh, input monitoring all that stuff is cool but the things I really want to get into is inserts and sends so I'm going to enable insert a controls and bypass and uh, I'll do send level send a level mute and pan and uh, I'll do B as well what the heck right and um, we'll do mutes as well so all of these different attributes now are part of the grouping so when I turn uh, click OK here of course if I mute they all mute if I solo they all solo if I record enable they all record enable but more importantly now since I enabled uh, insert a I have an EQ plugin on uh, each of these tracks it's the stock EQ 3 this is on vocal 1 I'm gonna shift click on the EQ on vocal 2 we'll open that up and I'm gonna do the same thing on vocal 3 and what the heck I'll do vocal 4 as well I don't have so much screen real estate I won't be able to show all of them but let's uh, see okay so vocal 3 vocal 4 vocal 1 vocal 2 now as a function of that track group all of these plugins are grouped as well so this is very handy if I'm uh, having the same vocalist do uh, a layered vocal you know maybe harmonies or doubling up the vocals to make those vocals big and large um, I'm likely going to want to put similar EQs on them. So by grouping not only the tracks, but the uh, plugin as well, I can do the same sort of um, EQ on all of them quite easily. So I can roll off some low end. I can dip the mids. We can bump the highs a little bit. Anything I do on one of those plugins will apply to all of those EQ plugins. Let's pull up vocal five and six as well there's five you see it's got the same setting and then there's six as well so uh, very cool thing to be able to uh, include plugins now the trick is all of these plugins have to live on the same insert in this case insert a and they have to be exactly the same plugin right I can't put different types of plugins in insert a and have them group they have to be exactly the same plugin so uh, that even includes like using the one band version of EQ 3 I couldn't mix and match the seven band and the one band they all have to be one bands EQ3s or they have to be the seven bands in order for this grouping to work all right so I'm gonna option click or alt click on a PC to close all these windows the other thing I grouped in this group is sends so I'm going to um, show the sends view and I'm gonna expand the sends view for a but first of all let's let's create a send so I'm gonna uh, hold down the option key while I create this send so that it's created everywhere and I'm just going to choose bus 7 and 8 
So that uh, holding the Option key on a Mac or Alt key on a Windows machine applies that same uh, bus or same send to all of the tracks. And I'm going to show the expanded view so that I can see the small fader. So we'll go to View Menu and uh, Expanded Sends. That's Send A that I wanted to show. And there it is. There's the expanded view. Now, remember, this send is part of that group. So if I grab the fader on one, it moves on all of them. And I think I did pan as well. Yes, I did. So there's the pan. It's grouped. You'll see the pan knob is moving on all tracks. Mute is uh, muting on all sends on all tracks, or just send A, I should say. And then pre or post. Now, I didn't um, include that. I don't think you have the option to include that. Let's take a look. Modify and attributes and sends. No, you don't have the ability to group the pre or post, which is fine. Uh, if I want to apply a pre or post send, uh, I can easily do that on a per track basis. But pan is grouped, mute is grouped, volume is grouped. Of course, if I break over to the uh, the mix window, of course, the, the, the main volume and the pan, I group that as well. Mute, solos, inputs. Oop, my mic is live there. Now, if I want to temporarily suspend this group, I want to change the volumes here. I don't want to, I can turn the group off by just clicking on it, uh, deselecting it over in the groups list, and then I can move these uh, faders independently. That applies to anything, right? So I'll move the pans, right? And now I'll turn that group back on. You'll notice that uh, the volumes maintain their relative relationship to each other, which is great. And the pans will too, right? So I've panned everything kind of, you know, through the left and right. And while they're grouped, they maintain their relationship to each other. Now, if I temporarily want to just uh, suspend this, I want to adjust the volume on one of these. On a Mac, I'll hold the, the control key. On a Windows machine, the shortcut to, to clutch out or temporarily suspend the group is and control. And I can move a fader, and then when I let go of the control key, the group is enabled again. And same thing with the with the panner. So I can control click, change the pan, and then let go of control, and um, the group is back. So this is now available not only in Pro Tools Ultimate, but Pro Tools Studio as well. And this is advanced track groups, um, and it's this attribute. So we can. Now uh, include any one of the inserts, controls and or bypass, and all of the sends with the track grouping. Um, so cool stuff.